This is Twin Cities Adventures with our Girl Morale Mushrooms at Home playlist and today we're going to show you how we modified our Morale Mushroom Garden. So right behind me is our homemade Morale Mushroom Garden slash habitat and we built this let's see two and a half years ago you can watch our video Girl Morale Mushrooms at Home part one video. Uh, we dug this out and we cut ash wood and we put that in there and we filled it with spores, ashes, uh, um, we put in molasses, we fed them with compost and uh, peat moss. We put everything in there that you can possibly think of to grow morel mushrooms and the spores never grew. We've also been transplanting uh, morel mushrooms from the wild for the last three years and a couple of those came back a year ago but nothing this year. It was a bunk. The spores were never good to begin with. We never got anything so I went back to the dealer and he sent me two more bags of spores this year. So we're gonna try a different method this year. So here's our bags of morel mushroom habitat spawn from G Mushroom. We got them in the mail a few days ago and we put them in the fridge. They say to put them in the fridge for a few days. And then you're gonna wanna dig up a four foot by four foot section, which the middle of this garden is gonna be easily about that. So I've kind of decorated with um, shade and succulents on this side of the, the yard so it would like when you walk by it it still look good but we're gonna kind of uh, open up the center here and we're gonna dig out about six inches all around this area here and we're gonna put these fresh morale spores in there and then we're gonna feed it with some apples and like kind of like a compost type setting and we're gonna turn that throughout the year and we're gonna see if we get some morale mushrooms that grow next year so first let's clear some of the logs out of here we'll move the Solomon seal maybe over a little bit and then we'll dig out of a section here. All right, you can see what we did here. We dug out a section about six inches deep in the mushroom garden. We have the wheelbarrow full of dirt and we moved our decorative logs over there and then we moved our Solomon seal over so we have a nice open spot. And I dug down pretty much to the, the old rotting logs that are in there. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna take the hose and just spray that down that nice and wet. Get those logs nice and wet under there. So I kind of mashed up these spores that are in the bags. I'll cut the lids off. Okay, now I'm going to sprinkle these all throughout this area. mix that up a little bit. I'll spread that around. Oops, put that back in the dirt. All right, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna feed these with some composting materials. Okay, so we're back in our orchard and we're gonna pick any apples or plums that fell on the ground like there's a couple here and here, and we'll throw those into the compost on top of the mushroom spores. So what have you got there, Samuel? And I got a cherry. Okay, why don't you guys each grab a bucket there? A little bit of a windstorm, a rainstorm last night knocked some of our fruit off. rainstorm last night. We also got a couple stalks of rhubarb that we're ripping up and we're gonna distribute this evenly throughout this little bed. Here's some old oranges on our bird feeders. I'll get them. Strawberries 
see what you got there. One. Here's some watermelon rinds and some all orange tabs. I picked some bad strawberries from our strawberry patch and some berries from our berry tree over there. Okay, I'm gonna throw those in there. Let me cut up that orange into four pieces. That's some pretty good composting. So now we'll just fill the dirt back over the top of that next. We'll just get this dirt back mm -hmm. over the top of the spores and mixture. We got our dirt back on here and put the decorative logs on again. Just find a spot for them. Just so it's pretty to look at when we walk by, right guys? Yeah. All right, all back together now. So our plants are all around the edges. And then we got a couple decorative logs that we can easily pick up and move. And we'll just keep this big center area free for throwing compost and like using the pitchfork and turning that. And we'll see what happens. Next thing we're gonna do is add some water. We'll keep you updated on any mushrooms that grow in here. Twin Cities Adventures, out.